Everyone, welcome to the Geekdom, the place where we outcast come to talk about the things we love, and today we're talking Doctor Who. I've got two very awesome minifigures for you today from the 60th anniversary episodes. We've got the 14th Doctor and Donna Noble finally making their return after 15 years off the air. It's such an exciting time to be a Doctor Who fan and they've got such great costumes that I just had to make into minifigures. So let's just jump right in with the 14th Doctor himself. Now, in my personal opinion, the 14th Doctor's costume is the best Doctor Who costume we've ever gotten. And when I first saw it revealed, I was like, I'm going to have to make a minifigure out of this. So here we are. In all of its glory, we're going to start from head to toe and we'll just go through all the prints. Starting with the hair, we've got the David Tennant hair, which you know is the hair I used for my 10th Doctor's TARDIS video, which you should definitely check out, by the way. The link will be in the description. It's really cool. It's just the standard spiky hair, but in like a dark brown. It was made for David Tennant's Doctor Who, and I absolutely love the way it looks on this figure. The face print is very similar as well. I just gave him a five o'clock shadow as well as improving those sideburns this time. So that looks really, really cool as well. I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Neither of these figures have arm printing. I know it's such a travesty. You know how much I love to have my custom printing, but sadly, it's just a blue jacket. There's no printing on the arms. One day, I'm gonna hopefully make a few more of these figures where I can kind of do the jacketless look with the sleeves up and stuff, which would be really, really cool. A great chance to do some custom arm printing for these figures. But for now, these are just some arms in a nice blue color that I chose. On the torso, though, is where the magic really happens. Obviously, we've got the blue overcoat, but we've got the waistcoat, that really great tie, the single button done up. It looks so, so cool, especially with all those, like, blue-lined flannel details. Such an amazing design for the costume. I love it so much. Moving down onto the hips and legs is just a continuation of those details. As you can see there, those blue lines running through the brown, as well as that overcoat design slipping all the way down to the legs. Uh, he's wearing a new pair of Converse this time, which are very similar to the design used in my 10th Doctor figure, except I changed the color from beige to gray, and I added some of those lines as well, but a little bit tidier this time. They look really, really cool. I always love getting to put like shoe designs on my figures. It just merely makes them pop. Now, if you saw my last video with Doctor Who, you'll know that I gave David Tennant his own custom Lego piece for the Sonic Screwdriver, and I had to give the 14th Doctor the same treatment, seeing as his new Sonic might be my favorite Sonic of all time. I just love the way it looks. I love all the new functions that it has. It's a custom piece. Um, it's got a bunch of different colors there. You've got the blues, that chrome color, which looks really nice, as well as that beige section for the coral. It looks really, really cool. I've kind of gone for that sort of oversized look that LEGO seem to do with their accessories. I think it just looks so much like a real LEGO piece. I am so, so proud of this. Can't wait to see more of this Sonic in the show. I'd just like to take a sec to ask you please to subscribe. We're on our way to 500. It would be absolutely fantastic if you could just click that little button down below. It goes a really long way. We're trying to, we're trying to make it here and it would just be so, so brilliant if you could subscribe. Anyway, I'm going to wind up soon, but not before I make a few strange noises with my mouth that go somewhere along the lines of bingle bongle, dingle dangle, yickety doo, yickety da, ping pong, lippy tappy too ta, and 23. Please subscribe. Next up, we have Donna Noble, my favorite Doctor Who companion, and she is nothing but amazing in these new episodes. I absolutely love seeing Donna back on the screen, and her outfit is just quality as well. It's very, very Donna. We're going to start from head to toe once again. We've gone for the Hermione Granger hairpiece in Ginger. It's so perfect for Donna, especially her 60th anniversary hairstyle. The fringe, the sort of like curled almost hair just looks absolutely perfect, and in this ginger color just... Face print wise, if you've watched some of my videos, you'll know how much I love using the Princess Leia face print on all my figures. And I thought, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I've gone with the exact same face print again. It just screams Donna Noble. I just, why would I use any other piece if I think it's so, so perfect? The face print for Donna isn't the only reused asset in this figure. Her entire torso is composed of a bunch of different characters. We've got influences from Tina Goldstein, the 11th Doctor, because hey, I like to include stuff from the properties themselves, as well as Hermione Granger for that jumper texture because it had that sort of stripy jumper look and I just thought it was perfect but we've recolored that to make it that sort of really vibrant pink and red stripy jumper that Donna's wearing throughout the 60th. Her coat once again doesn't have any arm printing which is such a shame since it's just a green coat so she's just got green sleeves uh, and Donna same again leg printing a very a severe lack of leg printing come on Doctor Who costumers I think you're brilliant but give me something to work with she's literally just got black leggings and boots on I can't really do anything about that so we've just got the coat texture continuing onto a pair of black legs either way it looks brilliant and looks great next to my 14th Doctor figure 
Now I know what you're thinking, Freddy, where is the new TARDIS? And I assure you, the set is on its way. I have started working on it. We're in the very early stages, but I just don't want to rush it because it might be my new favorite TARDIS and I want to do that justice in Lego form. I'm going to show you a little teaser in a second of where we're at so 